Hello, my name is Charles Torres. I'm a partner at the law firm of Perkins Coie, and together with Adam Brenner, seated uh, on the far side uh, to the left, we're thrilled to present Jesse Kors Blankenship today with the Columbia Entrepreneurship's Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur of the Year Award. This is personally satisfying for me for two reasons. Our relationship with Columbia University and our relationship with Jesse. First, a bit about the relationship with Columbia University. I've been an emerging company and venture capital lawyer in New York City for the last 20 years, and I've known and respected Dave Lerner for most of those years. When Dave began teaching at Columbia, <clears throat> he asked me if I could come into his class and talk a little bit about some of the legal aspects of starting and funding a new venture. I love talking entrepreneurship, and as my colleagues would attest, I love teaching venture, so I jumped at the chance. I must have done okay, because he invited me back, and thankfully has continued to do so over five years, and now continues to invite Adam back as well. Um, when Columbia opened its startup lab down on Varick Street, we expanded our efforts. We thought it was a really terrific idea, and it was a compelling show of support for the entrepreneurship community. Um, we now have a team of Perkins attorneys providing lectures and office hours down there to the startup community. But what's more important, it was through our involvement with the Columbia startup community that we met Jesse, the CEO and founder of Frustum, a company using artificial intelligence and software to innovate design and manufacturing. We met Jesse in the very early stages of his company. In fact, prior to the first round of financing, and Adam, would spend countless hours working through his cap chart and spending time with Jesse and thinking about how do we structure that financing. And I remember you know, sitting down with Jesse very early on and we talked about whether we should do a bridge financing or a series seed and series A and we, we kind of plotted that out. And we plotted a strategy that, you know, frankly, from mine and Adam's perspective, it's very easy to tell a founder, hey, go do this. Right, but a very low percentage of them actually are capable of doing it and can do it. Jesse was one of those percentages, right? He's, uh, he's the type of entrepreneur that, that investors like to bet on, right? Um, working with entrepreneurs, Perkin, you know, Perkins Cooey, I think, has built a lot of his reputation working with entrepreneurs early from a very early stage, from two founders in a deck to IPO and beyond. So when I say that, I say that because we have some pattern recognition of what creates a successful entrepreneur, right? And Jesse ticks probably the three most important boxes, right? He is absolutely whip smart. All right. He was an architecture professor here at Columbia and has the multidisciplinary creativity to apply those skills in a matter that rethinks generative design. Right? Taking what you know in various areas and combining those things is not an easy thing. To do that with grace and to do that in a way that is compelling to large public companies like PTC, and we'll talk about that in a second, is really impressive. And it speaks me to the second characteristic. Jesse is really charismatic. Um, if you talk to him for a short period of time, you'll understand why you like him and, and you, you'll want to share coffee, you know, beer or, or some other sort of activity. <laughs> um, and certainly, you know, we've shared a lot of late nights um, on, on the phone together with respect to some serious issues. And it, and it helps to have someone who is unflappable and charismatic. And in a short period of time, he was able to build the trust of his seasoned investors, of an engaged board of directors, and over 20 employees. Third, Jesse's intellectually curious. While all of the decisions were his own, he collected appropriate information and data and really, really listened to others, particularly those who uh, complemented his abundant skill sets. Um, I find that one of the most impressive qualities of a founder. Um, in other words, Jesse's the type of founder that Adam and I love representing. Uh, the type of founder that, that is, is one that you love to work for and with or invest in. So when Jesse sold his company to PTC last November, after Jesse and his investors, Adam and I were probably the second happiest set of folks. And, and frankly, Adam was probably a little bit happier than me because it meant that he had his late nights and his weekends back from him. <laughs> right. Um, 
In their press release, PTC announced that it believes Frustum will elevate PTC to a leading position in the world of design and simulation. A leading position in the world of design and simulation as announced by the company's CEO. Right? In one sentence, validation for, can be found for the following. For Jesse's vision, for the hard work and late nights and creativity of the entire Frustum team, and lest it go unstated, for the critical work and influence that Columbia Entrepreneurship, and in particular Dave Lerner, Chris McGarry, and Nat Kellner, just to name a few, have had in fostering an environment for innovative entrepreneurs like Jesse. We at Perkins are really just super excited to have been along for the ride. On behalf of Perkins Coie, Adam and I are, are honored to present our friend, Jesse Kors Blankenship, with Columbia Entrepreneurship's Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm so honored and thrilled to be here today. It's uh, one word kind of sums it up for me is catharsis. I was a graduate student at Columbia University. Um, I finished in 2010 a master's of science degree in architecture. Um, I never thought I was going to be a founder of a startup when I started my program, but this university helped foster that through a lot of the things that Charles was mentioning through the multidisciplinary aspect of the many paths I could choose for while I was here. Um, I was a professor for a time looking for where I could apply my research and I was just uh, lucky enough to be aware of the growing skills gap going on in our world and how to capitalize on that. That's a big part of entrepreneurship is knowing what the right moment is for what you're doing in life, and then believing you can succeed. And there's no uh, guarantee for success being a founder or an entrepreneur, but if you believe in yourself and you really believe you have that right time, you can do it also. So I just want to say if there's any other uh, founder potentials out there, um, it's a big responsibility, and you have to believe in yourself or not at every step of the way. And it's a very rewarding journey if you pursue it. So uh, thanks so much for having me. And uh, I just want to say a big thank you to Columbia Entrepreneurship and to my friends uh, Charles and Adam. Um, picking the right people to join you on your journey and having those friendships are a huge part of it. Uh, if anybody lost as much sleep as I did, it was probably Adam Brenner, if not more. And now we're dear friends because of it. So thanks so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. Thank you.